Hi dear friends, how's everybody doing today? I'm here to do an unboxing and a review for you guys today. So, um, let me get it here. Fava Tea um, reached out to me and asked me if I would like to try their holiday um, tea sampler. It's like a gift box with um, 12 teas that, that they are releasing for the holidays for the winter um so of course i said yes that is the second time that they reached out to me for fall they did the same they they have great tea I, i'm really impressed by it from the last time i tried so they sent me this little box here and um it's filled with little samples and uh, i have one in here that i'm going to be trying with you guys in camera today um but in the box comes this little pamphlet here and in the back here like if you want to actually give as a gift to somebody you can put a gift message in there and then uh, all the teas here that comes inside it has all the ingredients and then uh, the white part here it says notes so you can actually write down uh, my tasting notes and see like which tea i would like to buy a full bag of okay so and they also included this very cute um, tea egg that has a little snowman here. Um, super cute though, I have to say. So 12 teas in the box. I'm going to just tell you guys exactly what it is, um, but I plan on making separate reviews for everything. Um, eggnog is a rooibos tea. Salted Caramel Drop, another rooibos. A Herbal Reindeer Drool, mm, sounds interesting. Black Tea Favas Winter Blend, looks beautiful too with like citrusy and spicy. Pistachio Tort, I think I did try this tea once before it came in my sips by. Um, herbal cinnamon plum, black tea candy cane lane, which is very similar to Santa Secret, Secret Santa, no, one of those, and David's teas, and um, I love that tea, so this one is gonna be good. Frosty's, Frosty's brew, this sounds delicious, I can see some pieces of white chocolate and zesty orange, mm. Dashes Delight, which is a green tea with some caramel. Mmm, this is gonna be good. Absolute Cranberry. So it's a herbal fruit infusion. And the Snickerdoodle Oolong. Now, Snickerdoodles are my favorite cookies, and now that I'm gluten-free, I cannot enjoy them unless I find a recipe, and honestly, I, I, don't, I don't bake, so it's not gonna happen. So I really have high hopes for this tea to actually taste like a Snickerdoodle. Anyways, uh, and the last one here today, I already opened this one and I stapled it back here, is Silent Night Rooibos Tea. Um, I just wish the, the bags here would be like those resealable ones because it comes a lot in here so I can try multiple cups but easy fix, I just, you know, um, put this in scotch tape in the bag. So this is the one that I'm drinking tonight, Silent Night and the ingredients here is rooibos, honeydew melon cubes, apple pieces, flavoring, stinging nettle leaves, whatever that is, um, pumpkin pieces, and sunflower blossoms. <clears throat> this tea smells very good. It smells sweet and delicious and creamy. So, to the taste. I did taste, uh, before I started the video, I did a little taste on this plain, and it was very good, like very good plain. And you can really taste that rooibos, I'm not a fan of rooibos, but when it's in a blend like this, it really hits the spot. So plain was fantastic. And then I add um, two drops of stevia and a dash of milk.
Mm. This is very good. Silent Night. Mm. I taste the caramelly, delicious. You know, I can taste that honeydew. Honeydew is a very good, it's a delicious, it's one of my favorite melons out there. Um, this, I can't, I can't taste the honeydew. Yeah, the honeydew is right there with some caramel notes, you know, and that honey-ish vibe of the rooibos. This is fantastic. I could drink this every night, no problem. And uh, it's caffeine free, so I just had dinner. So now I can sit here and enjoy this delicious desserty cup, cup of tea. Mm. It's fantastic. Anyway, Fava Tea, thank you so much for sending me this beautiful holiday gift box. Um, this is a perfect idea for gifts out there. If you have any tea lovers in your family, this is fantastic because they get a little bit of everything to try from a specific brand. So yeah, I'm very impressed with Fava Tea so far. Very good teas. And I can really taste the tea base in there, so it's a plus. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if there is any of those teas here that you wanted me to review before the other, let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely going to work on these reviews, um, you know, before December comes. So at least you can, you know, know in your head what you want to order or not. But that's delicious. I'm going to go enjoy this cup of tea. See you guys later for more reviews. Thank you.